Hello everyone. Well, we got lucky in Tulsa last night with severe storms staying to the north and south of us. And hopefully our luck will continue because unfortunately there is still a chance of severe storms both today and tomorrow. So let's break down both days for you. We're starting at 8 a.m. this morning. And for the morning, we've got to mention a small chance of encountering some rain, but we're just talking about isolated showers. So more likely that you're going to have a dry morning commute uh, than a wet one. And I tell you what, for the late morning and early afternoon, looking completely dry across northeast Oklahoma, and mostly sunny skies. And I think high temperatures will ultimately top out in the mid 80s. Also going to get breezy this afternoon. Gusts are going to peak around 25 miles per hour, but in the late afternoon, possibly as early as about 6 o'clock, we're going to see some new isolated showers and storms pop up. And this is what's tricky because we're not expecting a lot of rain uh, during the evening hours, but the storms that are able to pop up could be severe. So here's 6 o'clock. Here's 8 o'clock. You know, right now looking like most likely time in Tulsa itself might be 8, 9 o'clock, but it's not a guarantee because notice how this activity definitely stays isolated. I just have to mention, though some are going to stay dry, the possibility of severe storms because if one of these storms move over, yes, there is the potential for some damaging wind and hail. Now, I think the chance for severe storms is our temperatures cool. Uh, the chance for severe storms going away by midnight. So looking at a window from 6 o'clock this afternoon to midnight with isolated showers and storms and possibility that in those isolated showers and storms, though not everybody's going to see rain, there could be some damaging wind and hail. But the interesting thing is the good chance of rain is going to be late tonight. These aren't going to be severe storms, but I do have to mention this is 4 a.m. Very <laughs> late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Uh, this is when thunderstorms, there's a good chance of them. It's just going to be regular heavy rain and lightning. These aren't going to be hail producers or damaging wind producers, but I do have to say this is our best chance of rain. Notice how it is going to linger into early Saturday morning as well. So again, it looks like the, the, the peak is really going to be about 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. in and around the Tulsa area with heavy rain and lightning likely, but fortunately uh, not severe storms. So the severe threat is six o'clock this afternoon until midnight. And that's actually our smaller chance of rain compared to what's coming late tonight. So we are just talking about isolated showers and storms during the evening hours, but the storms that do pop up could be severe. So that's why we're under the marginal risk level one out of five, because there's just not gonna be a whole lot of storms. But in the storms that are able to pop up, could see quarter size hail, could see wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. And though the chance is really small, I can't say it's zero that we could see an EF0 or EF1 tornado pop up. But fortunately, the activity will be isolated. Now, we're gonna talk about Saturday. So I mentioned that really good chance of rain early Saturday morning, by 10 a.m. Saturday morning. So by the late morning, probably just lingering scattered showers, not even any uh, thunderstorms. And as far as the driest part of the day on Saturday, that is looking like the early afternoon. Look at 1 o'clock. Probably going to be completely dry in the area. It's probably going to be a little bit cooler since we're starting out with some rain and more clouds. So we'll probably only top out in the low 80s. Not as much wind tomorrow, though. We're only talking about gusts around uh, 15 miles per hour. And uh, this is going to be a temporary lull in the activity because look in the late afternoon around 4 o'clock. New showers and storms. And yes, there is a possibility we could see some damaging wind and hail here too. Now, the most likely time on Saturday is looking like 7 o'clock. The window looks like roughly about 4 o'clock in the afternoon to maybe as late as 10 o'clock in the evening. Most likely time it looks like right now, 7 o'clock Saturday evening. And notice there's going to be more activity around for the evening hours tomorrow. The thing is, the storms that pop up tomorrow are probably not going to be as strong as the storms that pop up this evening. This is what's tricky about it. So guess what? It's the marginal risk again for tomorrow, level one. Do think scattered showers and storms. So during the evening tomorrow, again, again possibility in the late afternoon. I'm going to leave the window for severe storms from four o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow until 10 o'clock the evening. I expect more storms during this period. They're just probably not going to be as intense. Most likely just heavy rain and lightning, but, but got to mention the chance for up to penny size hail wind gusts uh, up to 50 miles per hour. Not worried about tornadoes, but because we're going to have that rain early tomorrow morning and then not much of a lull before some more heavy rain moves in, I can't rule out late afternoon through the early evening hours a few flooded roads in the area. 